On Saturday, November 11, 2017, 99 years will have passed since the official end of World War I. At the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, 1918, a formal declaration of peace was made between former warring nations. The other countries throughout the world mark November 11th as a day to celebrate the Great War's end and refer to the anniversary as Armistice Day or Remembrance Day. The United States shares in those sentiments, but also uses the day to honor all veterans who have served in the United States Armed Forces. On this Veterans Day, we honor three veterans at Liberty High School. Head Principal Ed Nelson, Liberty School Resource Officer Scott Young, and Daytime Custodian Luther Morris. Well, Mr. Nelson, to start the conversation. I, uh, first of all, I want to, you know, uh, thank you for your service. Yeah, appreciate it's, it's that. An, it's an honor to be able to sit across from you and uh, speak to you. Thank you. So I want to start off with uh, just a question. What inspired you to join the military? Yeah, so I um, graduated high school in 1988, and I, I really wasn't ready to, to go to college. Um, I come from a big family. I've got uh, 12 brothers and sisters, and um, so it was just time for me to leave the house, you know, I mean, just because it was a crowded place and, and both of my grandfathers were in World War II and had served and so um, you know joining the army seemed like an opportunity to uh, potentially travel and then also uh, go overseas and so I was excited to do that. I, uh, when I graduated from high school I wanted to go to college but I also wanted to break from school so I figured the military was a perfect fit. Um, also uh, I have family members that served in the, uh, in, in the military, so it was kind of a family affair type of deal, uh, how I got involved in the military. When I was in uh, my hometown, a couple of my friends joined the military, and I, one day I was uh, you know, on my job, and one of the guys I worked with was a combat veteran for, during Vietnam, and he was telling me his stories and stuff like that, and one day I said, hmm, I want that challenge. And then I said, okay, all right, how can I do this? So I went, talked to the Marine Corps recruiter and see what he had to offer. And he told me, basically gave me a chance to enlist the military. I had already qualified for the military through the ASVAB and stuff like that. So all he had to do was look at my record, see that I was qualified for the military and told me a little bit about the military. But my biggest reason for joining was my friends was already in the military and I just wanted a chance to, you know, I wanted a challenge and basically just see the world. Uh, can you describe your role in the military? Yeah, so initially when I went into the military, um, I went into basic training at Fort Knox and I was, um, uh, my job was an M1A1 tanker, so I was on tanks. Um, and you, we did that training in Fort Knox, Kentucky. And then uh, when I got out of basic training in AIT, um, I went over to Germany and I got to Germany in 1988. And at that point in time, I was on the uh, East German and Czechoslovakian border patrol. And so essentially what you had is you had the uh, Soviet Union and that Soviet bloc of countries. We as Americans were there in Germany to protect the West German citizens. And then I was actually there um, uh, when the wall came down and so I, was uh, there to be able to experience uh, the reunification of Germany and all those people uh, streaming across the border from uh, East Germany and Czechoslovakia. So it was a pretty interesting time. I was in the security forces basically. Uh, it'd be like the law enforcement side and the military, military police. Uh, my duties were, uh, I guarded aircraft, communications and weapon storage facilities. That was my job. Well, basically when I went into military, um, they gave me the job as a combat photographer. So I went to school for combat photography. And, you know, for the first, I want to say the first hmm, 15 years of my military career, 
I did combat photography. I did uh, um, investigations, forensic photography. I did uh, training operations, and I also did uh, you know did a lot of event ceremony and stuff like that. Do you have any advice for anybody uh, that's considering going into the military? Well, um, if there is a student here at Liberty that's interested in joining the military, uh, I would tell them don't get don't. Don't join the military as an open uh, enlistee. Basically, that means is that the military will, will choose a job for you. I would tell them to secure a career field that they're they're interested in. That's going to make your time in the military go so much better. You also can you know take advantage of advantage of the uh, the, the travel benefits. I mean, you, you know you you could have a paid vacation in Europe for four or five years. You know, it all depends on what your specialty is. Also, you know, I would like to see each enlistee that goes into the military take full advantage of the uh, educational benefits. Uh, I've seen plenty of guys that will put their time in and never collect on that, that, that benefit. It's, 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 it's huge. As I was going through my military career, I had you know, mentors you know, when I first started. Then I became a mentor myself. Then I realized, man, you know, everything that they taught me, I get to now teach other young men and young ladies. So as a, as a veteran, do you have, is there a particular type of um, familiarity that you have with other veterans? Well, it's kind of a camaraderie. It, I mean, it's a, it's a brotherhood, you know. Um, it's kind of hard to explain as far as, it, it's, it's like you're, you're in a special club. Not a whole lot of people can say, I served. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a... I wouldn't say there's a secret handshake or uh, anything like that, but um, there, there is some pride to saying I am veteran. In your role as a, as a drill sergeant, how, how does that help you? How do you think it's helped you as your uh, principal <laughs> at Liberty High School? <laughs> well, um, <laughs> you know, I. I this is what I believe, you know, to a certain extent. One of the things um, that I think is most important is the safety of students, you know, and as a drill sergeant uh, and as a member of the service, um, it's important for me to keep the kids at Liberty High School safe. And so I believe I know how to do that. And so that would be one reason uh, why uh, it's helpful, uh, that, that experience as a drill sergeant. All right, so, uh, so I just want to thank you for coming here for the interview and thank you for your service. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for your time today. Thank you for uh, agreeing to this interview and thank you for your service. Thank you. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you for taking the ultimate sacrifice of bravery just so we can live freely. Thank you for your service. It is with great pleasure that I am able to stand here and thank you for the time that you have given personal and family time for our country. Thank you for your example of leadership to our LHS family. Thank you for putting your life at risk so ours isn't. I want to say thanks to all you veterans that have helped defend this country, lay your lives on the line, and make America the place it is for everybody to do the things they want to do and make the choices they want to do, even if we don't all agree.